Hello guys, so I have a tip to share this week and that is for people who use uh, VS Code with Next.js or other uh, frameworks that use uh, folder-based routing like Svelte. So the problem I have is this. With Next 13 and above, uh, they moved from uh, file-based routing to folder-based routing. So that means your routes all are called page.jsx. So just by looking at the title bars here, it is difficult to identify which pages the files are referring to, making it harder to navigate between pages so there's two ways we can fix it so one way is uh we can use uh, control p to navigate between files so you can do control p to navigate to the album id file for example so some people may prefer this because you know exactly where the file is so you just need to type the file name but others may prefer to navigate to the files by clicking on the files themselves at the file tab tree at the top there so the second method for people who want to navigate via the file tree here is a uh, by using a new VS Code feature where we can uh, manipulate the way this title bar here is displayed. So we can open the VS Code settings.json file. So let's go with the user settings file and let's split it at the top so that you can see the changes in real time. So the settings for this are under workbench.editor.customlabels.patterns. So here we can map a file name pattern to the value that will show on the title bar. So for example, we want to map every everything under app and then every page to jsx file under app folder so if we give it a value of page then you can notice that uh, all files with page to jsx extension have a page title bar and to make it easy to identify which page this is there are variables provided to us like dear name where we can get the current directory of uh, the file so just looking at this i know this is a page for the tracks folder or for the artist folder or for the albums folder so we can do the same for the layouts too so we can uh, copy this and then change the file name to layout and then this becomes a layout so if we save this we can now see the layouts with the folder name but this also introduces a, a new issue so it's great for folders that have file names that are easy to identify so for example for folders like at tracks or at artist or at album it's easier to identify them from the top here but there are folders for dynamic routes like uh, this one here that uses the id route so we still don't know for which page uh, this id is so we can still add another rule to fix this edge case here so if we post the same rule here but this time we want to match the id folders and then for the deal name we want it to go one level backwards so that uh, if the folder name is uh, id here for example then uh, we use the album as the title so it goes back one level so let's fix this here so that it traverses all uh, folders in the app folder which match an id in the folder name so it will be called something uh, so let's maybe make it id page so with that we get a better uh, title here so we know that this id page is for the album root so if we open uh, another page here like the album id page here you can see the title name now matches with the folder name properly so we can do the same thing for the layout page so you can also match the id for the the layout and then we can call these uh, the id layout and then again we go one level above so we know that this is a layout for the album id page like that and also we know this is a layout for this uh, id page here so that is it i hope uh, you learned something new today so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video